Well, it has come to my attention with the x Max, A lot of people are getting an RC. Yeah, my cigarettes. A lot of people are getting an RC vehicle for the first time because this is the first time that a vehicle of this size and this power has been available at this price. So a lot of people are jumping on board the RC bandwagon. Uh... In the early 2000s, late 90s, RC's sales slumped way down and a lot of hobby shops closed. So, if you're in a place like I am, I live in Warner Robins, Georgia. The closest hobby shop I have is about 25-30 miles away and they really don't carry a lot of stuff. I have to drive 80 miles to Stockbridge, which is my main hobby shop. I absolutely love them. They've always helped me out, and I've spent so much damn money there that every time I go in there, they give me a hat, a shirt, just for buying. But this video is about the gearing of the X-Max. Uh, you can see I actually have the spur... Uh, slipper assembly taken out of the vehicle and I'm going to point out a few things about this it basically has a double pinion spur set up on it and I'll explain that this is the pinion gear that people talk about changing this is the 54 tooth they have a 46 and a 50. It's a metric 1.0. That's why they call it a M1.0. It actually has it on there. Right down there at the bottom. You can see 54 M1.0. Um, the biggest downside I found to this entire vehicle is this secondary pinion that meshes up with there's another larger gear that connects it's right there you can see it right let me get my finger right there you can see it move as i spin the as i move the vehicle that is a plastic gear that is attached directly to the drive shaft and that is a secondary spur gear that's why i say this vehicle has sort of a second a uh, double reduction drive because it has a pinion gear on the motor the pinion gears on the motor and then you have the spur gear that the pinion gear meshes up against and thankfully with the x max they have i've taken my motor out just for demonstration purposes they have this little indexing system so you don't have to get out a piece of paper some people just they they don't have a lot of mechanical i don't know uh, mechanical ingenuity uh i work on cars for a living so i don't have any problems when it comes to gears and stuff like that there's also a pinion and a spur gear in your differential the pinion gear is the smaller gear and the spur gear is the gear attached to the differential case. In most cases, the spur gear is the larger gear. Just like inside the vehicle, the secondary spur gear down in there is, I'd say, probably about 70 teeth. And then you've got this very large gear that meshes up against it down in the drivetrain. The, the biggest problem I've noticed is this attaches to this shaft with a pin. So all the power is being transferred by that little pin right there. That just slides in and out. So I haven't broken one yet and I have powered the hell out of mine. Uh, but I haven't put a Castle Creations 2028 in it yet. So, and people that have done that, hell, there's even been people, uh, one person I know in the X-Max group has put a, uh, alien, 
a 14S setup. That is just insane. <laughs> I'd love to see that beast run. But basically what happens is when you lower your lower the amount of teeth on the spur gear, it is pretty much the same as making putting more teeth on the pinion gear. Uh, in most cases, if you go with a smaller pinion gear and a larger spur, you get more torque and less top speed. If you go with a larger pinion gear and a smaller spur, you get a higher top speed and less torque. But with the X-Max Motor ESC combo, I know a lot of the VXL 6S ESCs have been recalled because of overheating, but thankfully mine hasn't. Uh, I have not had a single problem with mine, uh, and I will show why here in a second. Yeah, I'm having to trim something real quick for the video. I was nothing but some zip ties, but inside mine, I have a, uh, second 14,000 RPM fan from Much More Racing, that is right beside the ESC. I have a second one coming that I'm going to put right here on the other side to suck air out. And I've reversed the fans in uh, this, so instead of them being uh, blower fans down onto the motor, they actually suck heat off. So, there's a couple things there. Uh, but the reason I say this basically has a double reduction is because you have a pinion on the motor that spins this spur gear that is going to spin this and then there is a pinion on this shaft that then sp spins that spur gear that is attached to the drive shaft itself. <clears throat> this is the rear of the vehicle as you can see. The rear of the vehicle. Uh, right now I'm running a 18 tooth uh, Robinson Racing Products uh, hardened steel gear and a lot of people say that they don't want to go with the Robinson Racing gear because it's narrow. Trust me it doesn't matter. I'll even put the pinion gear up against, I mean the spur gear up against it and you can actually see there's not that much of a difference. Maybe one to two millimeters on each side not much of a difference at all I haven't noticed any problem at all my spur gear is in perfect condition and it actually I can actually see wear, mark, wear marks I don't know if it can be seen yet you can actually see wear marks on my uh, spur gear from where that pinion gear is and then you have your slipper clutch right here, which is adjusted by that nut right there. Uh, with the kit, with everything that you get in your... Let me see if I can find the wrench real quick. There it is. With your X-Max, you actually get this offset wrench. Because this spur gear is in such an awkward spot that with a regular wrench you can't get to it as you see if I try to get to it with a regular wrench there's no way but with that offset it's able to get down onto the gear I mean onto the nut and right now it's actually on the nut and I'd be able to tighten it if it was in the vehicle I took this out for demonstration purposes but then you have this secondary pinion that's larger very large that meshes up to the secondary spur that's connected to the drive line. And then you have bearings that hold everything in place. And then this goes down into right down in there where you see that little groove right right there. 
that's where uh, the front pinion, I mean the front gear, this one right here, I mean bearing, that's where this one goes. And then there's a, another groove in the rear. You can see it back there. That's where the second uh, bearing sits. And then you can see that that other larger gear that is connected there you can see the drive shaft and it's splined instead of having pins uh, I've actually had my rear end taken completely apart and I should have taken pictures I should have done a video with it completely apart if your X Max makes a clicking noise it's not the differentials uh, the spur gear and just with how coarse of all the gearing is on this vehicle there's going to be some excess noise coming from everything damn it that thing keeps coming apart i mean because these things aren't built to tolerances like a vehicle which are thousandths of an inch um but that goes down inside that and then you have the cover which covers it and that goes on like this the bearing fell off the end but that goes on like this and holds this in place and then you have the spur gear cover that covers the spur gear to keep dirt rocks all kind of nasty stuff out from damaging it but basically when people are talking about adding teeth to their pinion they're going to add more top speed like uh atraxis advertised that this thing had a 40 plus miles per hour well with a 15 tooth spur no it does not maybe it did when they were doing initial testing but they might have noticed that it overheated a lot so they went down to a 15 tooth spur but if you get a castle creations uh fan the 2028 i would not recommend the smaller one because this one has two fans instead of one and it covers the entire thing and the biggest thing like i said i recommend is make it so they blow out instead of pushing air in because it will create a negative pressure zone down in here which will suck old air out and bring cooler air in same with these same with uh this little fan here it's going to suck air out creating a negative pressure zone down in here sucking extra air in uh when you're talking about pressures and stuff like that uh, I know physics and a lot of stuff like that you really don't get into physics when it comes to that but it helps to know it's, it helps to understand uh, gearing I I just taught all my stuff all this using the internet using uh, <laughs> picking other people's brains just learning as I go along but that is what the pinion and the spur gear is in a vehicle. So, like right now, in this bag, I have the stock 15 and a 16. Here's the stock gear. It is, uh, I can tell by looking at it, it's molded from, uh, it's cast. Either, I, I, I'm pretty sure it's cast aluminum. Uh, the Robinson Racing is machined steel hardened steel and this is the 16 tooth uh, i have the 18 tooth on the motor uh, so if i were to go up to a 21 and say go down to a 46 also if you go with a smaller spur and a larger pinion you are putting more strain on the motor because it is having to work harder to get things up to speed and keep them up to speed i've seen some people put a vxl system that's meant for the uh stampede on an emax 
uh, that little motor doesn't have enough power. You need to go with a 2200. I believe it's a Castle 1415 series. 2200 kV motor. And a, uh, preferably a Mamba Monster setup. ESC. For this, uh, a lot of people have had problems with, uh, I know everyone has seen the video of <laughs> the ESC catching fire. And, oh my god, that would be a nightmare. But, as long as you keep enough cooling around your ESC and your motor, when you go to start adding things to make more speed and more power, you're going to have to take away the extra heat that is created. And, like I said in a previous video, on a brushless motor, everything is reverse from brushed. Instead of having the brushes that are contacting the armature, which the armature has wires wrapped around it from 1 to, no, 2, all the way up to 55 turns, maybe more. Uh, and then, you with, but with, uh, and that's on the armature, the part that spins inside. And the, the magnets are on the can itself. Well, on a brushless motor, the rotor has the magnets on it, and the can has the turn the wire turns on the can itself, right inside. So if you were to take the rotor out, you wouldn't see wires, you would see magnets. Uh, I'm not going to take this motor apart. If anybody wants to see the inside of a motor, I'll take my Teak and Rock 412 apart. And show you what a brushless motor looks like inside. But that's basically what's happening when you're putting more teeth on your pinion gear and fewer teeth on your spur. You're making the, in the motor have to work harder. It's having to work overtime. Uh, people that are doing 14S setup, stuff like that. I don't know if Traxxas, I know this thing is built like a fucking beast, especially with spline shafts. I mean, you don't see an RC vehicle with spline shafts, but I don't know if, uh, especially that spur gear down in there, that's a plastic secondary spur gear, so you could strip that out. So, going with, uh, I can't remember what the name of that motor was. But there's a guy that works uh, for the company, and he actually put it in there, and he's testing. But me, myself, I'm waiting for Kershaw Designs to come out with the motor mount for the uh, 2028 motor. And a mounting plate for the... Uh, hell, what's it called? A, mount, a mounting plate for the XLX ESC also. But... With electronics, fans are your friend. You want to get rid of as much heat as you possibly can. Because electrons move through a wiring and conductors better when they're cooler. That's why... For lasers, for instance, you have uh, carbon dioxide lasers, uh, liquid nitrogen lasers... They use that to keep things cool because they're running so much power through a laser that they have to keep things cool. And that's why I have that motor, that, uh, that uh, fan there. I have a second one coming Friday. I have two more that I'm going to put inside the castle. Well, those are actually bigger fans. I'll figure something out. They look like 36 millimeters or 40. I'll figure something out. I mean, the fans work pretty good. I mean, it, it cools, it cools, it, it does cool the motor. But it needs to pull the heat away instead of pushing air on down onto it. Why they chose a blowing setup instead of a pulling setup, I don't understand. But it's Castle. I'm sure they know what they're doing. Uh, 
but I have seen better results by it pulling the heat away and creating a negative pressure zone down in that down in that area there. It's basically like a valley. And the ESC and everything goes through the entire thing. So for those that don't know what pinion and spur and everything all that does this is how the gearing of the x max works and there's also more reduction done at the differentials i don't know what it is uh i can't tell you right off hand i'd have to count the teeth and then divide it and then i could tell you the actual complete reduction with uh oh i'd also have to count the, all the teeth on the secondary spur down in there to give you a complete uh, final drive ratio because you have to put every gear into sequence to come up with your final drive ratio because just taking like uh, say you're using a 1654 I mean, a 1854, uh, that's a 3 to 1 ratio. So for every 3 spins of this, this is going to spin one time. Which is then, in turn, going to spin this one time, which is going to spin that down there. I'm pretty sure that's more of like a 4 to 1, so then you're up to about... Uh, seven eight nine to one ratio and then you're putting the differentials in so you're up to a possibly 15 16 to one ratio so for every spin of the motor the tires are only spinning maybe no the the motors for every spin of the tire the motor's probably spinning about 30 40 times so I'm going to get my X-Max put back together because I've got another bashing session scheduled for tomorrow. <laughs> I absolutely love this truck. I can't wait to get those Novak shocks. I believe that's what they're called. Uh, I did notice they're a little smaller. I just wish someone would make a... Uh, basically a cap down at the bottom that would accept a larger shaft and because i love the size of these shocks they're enormous and they hold a lot of fluid uh one person asked about putting 50 weight fluid in it yes that's good but going over rough terrain and stuff like that you need the suspension to articulate you need it to be able to soak up the bumps if you put 50 weight in you got to remember the pistons have six holes in them this fluid is going to heat up that's one reason why they put such big shocks on this so why so they can put a lot of fluid so it'll keep cool uh shocks that you see a little reservoir on the side that's to keep the the silicone oil cool if you look at like bilstein shocks bilstein bilstein however you want to pronounce it for uh for off-road cars where they have a complete hose coming off and then you have a complete separate reservoir uh, that's to hold extra fluid and also uh, for cooling purposes so I hope this video helps explain how the gearing of the X-Max works I do not work for Traxxas I just taught myself all this, uh, I'm not going to brag, but it just, it helps understanding this stuff and being able to relay the knowledge to other people so they'll be able to understand it better, so when it comes time for them to want to start gearing up or gearing down their vehicle they'll know what they're doing the one thing i will say is if you're going to add extra teeth to your pinion start low don't add just three teeth like i myself started with adding just one tooth then i added 
an extra two teeth to that. Everything worked fine. It went from 95 degrees up to 125 degrees. Uh, so, and as you see, I'm going to be getting a uh, 50 tooth spur in. And that's going to put more stress on the motor especially seeing I'm running an 18 tooth pinion so temporarily I'm going to go back to my 16 tooth see what the temperatures read because like I said in another video I do have uh my my T-Max came with a three channel TQI transmitter so I already have the TQI set up I want to get the telemetry expander. I'm not worried about the GPS because I have a GPS system I can put on here. It's not made, I mean, I can see it from a remote distance, but I can't see it on the dashboard on the Traxxas uh, app. But I hope that helps when it comes to talking about spur and pinion gears go with a bigger pinion you're going to get higher top speed go with a smaller spur again higher top speed go with a bigger spur and a smaller pinion lower top speed more torque but it's also gonna get up to top speed a hell of a lot faster that's when you're looking at acceleration and not top speed it's just going back and forth back and forth but that's it for this video any questions uh <laughs> I'm I'm part of many forums and groups on Facebook, uh, Xmax, ET, Xmax, and Summit. Everything on Facebook. You can look me up. It's Randall Hughes. Uh, I'm on Facebook. Got any questions? Please feel free to ask. I I not only do this for the fun of myself, but I enjoy working on them and also helping other people understand their vehicle better so they don't, won't break it. I mean, yes, RC vehicles are going to break. A lot of people are bashing the X-Max because parts are breaking. Well, guess what? <clears throat> it's a new vehicle. Every new vehicle is going to have flaws, just like brand new cars that come out. Guess what? That's what they have recalls for. Like I have to take my personal car into the garage tomorrow for two recalls. One is for the ABS system because the ground the ground wire can let rainwater get down to the ABS system, short it out, and I lose ABS. Secondly, uh, the battery cover can come loose, fall down on my catalytic converter, and catch on fire. So I'm going to have to take my vehicle in and get it worked on tomorrow. Thankfully, recalls are free. You don't have to pay for those because that is the manufacturer's defect, not yours. So, I'll try to stop here. I'm at 28 minutes. So, peace. Got any questions? Comment. Facebook. Whatever you like. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Like. It's up to you. Later.